5.44 in the morning. I'm going for a run. Hold on. Okay. It's not good lighting, whatever. Solid run. Um, yeah, same as usual, just like a little over a mile. I really wasn't able to get a good run in in the morning in a while just because of the whole daylight savings nonsense. I, I don't agree with that. Like we, we should just stop that honestly because there, there's no use for it. And I'm pretty sure everyone everyone agrees that it's useless, so we should probably just stop doing that. But yeah, solid run. All right, well, I gotta go to work. I have a lot to catch up on, um, so I will be doing that, but yeah. poster back here. Check this out. Pretty awesome, right? <sighs> okay. Um, why is that? Come on, really? No. There we go. Autofocus was acting up. Alright, um, I haven't made a proper video in a while, and like, that's that's bothering me. I don't like that. It feels weird not doing anything. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I figure why not make, why not get back to it? Why not, like, you know, make a proper episode? I'm, okay, the thing I wanted to say just real quick, I want to talk about it, is the reason that I haven't is because I feel like it's, like, I feel like I kept doing the same thing. And I know that it's like, like, that's what a vlog, or because, like, that's kind of what I call this, but, like, that's what it is, essentially, is just, like, my life every single day, but, I don't know, just, it felt too redundant, and I felt like, I felt like I couldn't get interesting enough, like, shots, and I couldn't do enough. I wasn't, like, I felt like I was doing a disservice because I wasn't able to, I don't know, it's hard to word, I feel like I just wasn't putting enough into it, and just, I feel like it was becoming too repetitive, and just, like, the same thing over and over again. So I kind of like, you know, stopped and I got a little discouraged by that. But that's just how I feel anyway. Like maybe other people think it's good, but like, I don't know, I just, I kind of got a little, um, I guess it was like maybe an insecurity almost, but I don't know. Regardless though, the other day I was listening to, I forget if it was on Joe Rogan or some, I forget where it was, and they were talking about happiness and it got me thinking. I'm sure that we've all heard the phrase health, wealth, and happiness. Well, my, take on that or my perspective on this is I think that health and wealth equal happiness. Now what I mean by that to get a little bit more descriptive is obviously health you know I mean if you're not healthy in my opinion like in my opinion like you need to be healthy to be happy you know because if you're not feeling good well if you're not feeling good physically then you're probably not that happy because you you don't feel good. <laughs> So, I mean, that's just, I, I, to me, that's common sense. And that's just how I am anyway. Like, when I'm feeling good, I'm happy, obviously, because I feel good. And another thing with that, too, is like, you know, not only 
like you're healthy so you're feeling good but you're also like you know you're looking good too because you're eating healthy and you're you know you have a good exercise program so yeah obviously you know you're feeling good and you're looking good so yeah that's one thing that definitely makes me happy the other thing about that is wealth now when i say wealth i don't literally mean like money or being rich like that's not what i mean at all i think that that's a pretty shallow way to look at it like the way that i see wealth is doing exactly what you want to be doing with your time now this might mean like if it's like a career path or a profession that you really want to be in and you really like it and you like showing up to work every single day and it's it's actually what you enjoy doing then yeah that's to me that's considered a wealthy person you know even though they might not be making like six figures or a ridiculous amount of money like if they're happy doing it then you're a successful person you know because you're happy so it doesn't matter health and wealth equal happiness that's what i think you know it, it is like it sounds very basic but like once you really get into it there's a lot involved obviously but yeah the whole wealth thing like for me anyway like that's huge especially anymore like i realized how important it is to be doing exactly what i want to be doing with my time like i realized recently that like i i don't know like i can't do a regular like career like i can't be, I can't show up to the same place for 20 plus years and like live a happy life like that That's not gonna make me happy. I know that I can't do that now Even if I were making a ridiculous salary in that job like that's not that's not enough I'm not gonna put money and materialism over my like mental health state over my happiness because I just feel like that's a that's a shallow way of living. Like, why would you, it, it just feels empty. Like, why would you want to do that? Like, what good is having money if you're not happy? That's why I always think it's funny when people are like, oh, well, I'd rather cry in my Ferrari than be happy in a Toyota. It's like, it's like, really? Like, you'd rather have a, a nicer car to impress other people when in reality you're miserable? It just makes no sense. That's why I really don't like that saying. When I was younger, like, I kind of, I kind of did subscribe to that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'd rather have a Lamborghini. But it's like, what good is it if you're miserable? It's not. It doesn't mean anything. But, yeah, that's, that's what I think about wealth anyway. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with money or material objects. I, I think that it is solely based on your time and if you're actually doing exactly what you want with your time. You know, whether that's spending time with your family or friends or just being in a career path that, you know, maybe doesn't pay that well, but it's what you want to do. Because that, like, that's, that's the one thing, like, you could have all the money in the world, but you don't have all the time in the world. In reality, like, the average person lives, like, what, 70, 80, maybe 90 years? Like, that's not a lot of time. The way I look at that is, like, well, why would you spend all that time, like, your whole adult life, being trapped somewhere where you hate people get trapped in those situations and it's very common yeah that's just that's something that i i never want to be a part of i never want to do like the regular thing it's so normal anymore that people just accept it and i i can't understand why it's like when they're graduating high school or whatever you know you ask them like well, what do you want to be when you grow up i want to go into psychology or i want to be a nurse or you know, anything like that just like you know regular stuff it's like well do you actually want to do that or do you want to be like an artist like do you want to paint or do you want to make music you know like what do you actually want to do and i get that there's people who will be like oh well, that's not realistic you know you have to make money first it's like well yeah but i mean also like you you can put that aside like you can live pretty cheap for a while and try to go after what you actually want to do in life rather than putting what you actually want to do on hold to get a job that you kind of are like yeah maybe it'll be okay like it just i don't know i think that a lot of the things, a lot of the social norms anymore are very backwards uh, and it kind of forces you into this little space that you are like kind of okay in and then, you know, sooner or later you feel trapped there and, you know, then you just can't get out of it or at least a lot of people feel like they can't get out of it. I just wanted to make a proper video again just explaining like my thoughts on health, wealth, and happiness. You know, I thought that it would be a pretty cool video idea just to kind of like share my thoughts and opinions on that whole thing and like what what it means to me you know because obviously like a lot of people you know everyone has different opinions on it everyone's gonna have their own idea of what happiness is for them and that's fine i just figured you know i'd share with you guys what mine is um and it's it's being healthy and being able to do exactly what i want with my life gotta go do some running around i have this pain in my back i have no idea what it is but it like it just feels like a pressure on my spine. I don't know if I just slept wrong. That's 
what I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it's like nothing crazy, but it's like, I don't know. It's just very uncomfortable feeling. Hopefully it goes away.